there, our fellow YouTuber shares. It's Friday. Oh no, no I mean it's it's Saturday. Uh, I just watched uh, my brother Headbangers Ball's latest episode, at least the first part, which he just uploaded a while ago. And uh, and it was fucking awesome, man. Cheers, bro. Uh, big shout out to Horace Ball, Tom, the Headbanger. Check his channel out. He's awesome. His channel is awesome. His latest video was was great. All he, of his videos are great. All of his episodes are great. Head on over to his channel, Horace Ball, and check out his fucking awesome videos filled with fucking pure uh, passion for horror. Uh, like, uh, we did humor, intelligent remarks about things and, well, whatever, he's a great guy, check it out. Uh, also, another shout out to Jason, uh, Music Mind uh, 270, I don't remember the numbers. So, ah. Beyond the Realms, I mean the other channel, uh, I don't remember the Music Mind, whatever. I don't know what, what the numbers were. I think I wrote it down. Music Minds 247. Check it out. Uh, actually, I just opened this ale. Because I have one left for Halloween. It's a fucking awesome ale. It's called Spook's Ale. Don't know if you're drinking it, Tom or whoever is watching the likes to drink some ales and beers. Uh, yeah. I uh, just had one left since like over a month ago and I it's fucking awesome it tastes great <sighs> I fucking love it I want to have more of this and you drink it slowly it's not something you like pour down and you don't chuck this beer here you take your time time with it and the taste is so filled full so when you just take a little sip, it feels like you're drinking like a whole beer at one time. That's how powerful it is. Spook say fucking awesome. I recommend it to you, all of you A lovers. Uh, I was just watching Death Dream, but I just I paused it for a while. I watched out. <laughs> I watched uh, Tom's video. And I decided to do a little update because I had some DVDs I picked up in October and I never showed them or also I ordered some special DVDs uh, like a package for Halloween but only a couple of them arrived, two of them arrived later on and so, but I need to show them so let's move on to the update, cheers, I mean, and shards I mean. <laughs> Charles to Jason and uh, my brother Tom. Awesome guys. So yeah. First of all, I got in Headless Headless Horseman. Have not seen this one. Let's check out the trailer. It seems like an awesome like Halloween tale of the Headless Horseman. You know, like Sleepy Hollow, decapitating heads and whatever. It looked cool. I don't know. It says that it's it, it, as seen on the Sci-Fi Channel and that kinds of I don't know. That probably could mean that it isn't what I thought it would be. But I don't know. It could be good. It can be good. I mean, <laughs> it does seem good. Uh, the trailer looked cool. But uh, I don't know. Hell of a source, man. It can be good. This is one of my awesome, uh, all-time favorite movies from back in the late 80s. Came out, came out in 1989. Uh, I knew it in Sweden as ra the rats, uh, but they sh uh, the, sh the, the, other, the titles in the other countries are very different. Like in in the UK, it's called something else. In the States, it's called something else. It's called Gnaw Food of Guts 2. I love this fucking movie. This is one of the best animal creature feature horror movies. With giant rats in it. I love this movie. This is so fucking awesome. It's so fucking well done. The special effects. Like. This is a masterpiece in my mind. I I watched this so many times. Back in the late, late 80's. When it came out in Sweden. I think I saw it. 
I must have seen it in the in the, in the like in the start of the nineties. Then I know I moved up here where I live now. Got some friends, friends, and we watched it all the time. It was one of my favorite our favorite mo our favorite movies. I'm a little tired. I've been I've been to the big city several miles away, and I it's late. I'm just drinking that ale, and I, I'm going to watch Death Dream, and then go straight to bed. So, but. I recommend this movie very highly to horror lovers and creature feature lovers, people that love animal uh, like movies, attack of giant rats, mutated monsters or whatever, this is fucking cool, giant rats uh, mutated by, uh, uh, yeah, by something, who cares. <laughs> I think this doctor is trying to help a child that has been like affected by a, gr a medicine for growth hormone or whatever it was something within this that child is making him grow uh, and this doctor is trying to help him to like make him stop growing so he takes this uh, drug that is, that is supposed to reduce the growth but it does the opposite it mixes with his blood and it, and it uh, mutates into something else and it makes him grow bigger and this other university doctor is trying to help him out, help her out actually. Uh, so he brings the back, start experiment on some tomato plants, and also a rat. Uh, he has a bunch of rats in his lab, but the other rats, well, they eat the tomatoes, so they get big too. And they get loose, and they munch and eat on all of these students in the university. And it's a fucking awesome ride, I recommend it. I wasted too much time talking about it. But you know, food if we got two. I'm so fucking happy to have this. I will I already watched it again, but I will watch it soon again because I love it. And now onwards to some dark entertainment Swedish label stuff. Uh, they are actually closing down shop because they have problems with their banks. They are refusing them uh, uh, to use their services. So they can't receive payments and whatever. It's it's a fucking pain in the ass. I feel for them because they're a good they're a good label and they're trying to like uh, do what they can for can for independent and, and underground horror. They released a lot loads of Ryan Nicholson movies. Uh, they released Torch, Hanger, Gutter Balls. Uh, and they re re released loads of other stuff. I will show you some of them now. And I got first of all, I got Brain Dead. I remember uh, OD666 showed this. 666666 showed this when he picked it up like m many months ago. Many, many, many months ago. Over half a year ago. I don't know, something like that. It was a long time ago. But I picked this Swedish edition up from Dark Entertainment with this ni nice slipcase. It's very sweet. So, but, yeah, awesome. Can't wait to check this one out. Fucking shit, get in there. Ah, this is another one of their movies. I would open it in uh, La Petite Mort. They had, they had this out for a while, but I haven't picked it up until now. But I got it. So yeah. Uh, then I got a cheese fest. I believe William Winkler's Frankenstein vs. the Creature from Blood Co. Uh, it's a black and white new new movie from I don't know when, but uh, 2005. Yeah, looks like it can be fun. I don't know. Uh, a Swedish movie. I met these guys at a convention. Uh, yeah. This is a Swedish movie called Dead on Arrival. Kind of a little more hardcore, uh, raw action movie, but it, it looked pretty good. Action drama with bru more brutal. Uh, more brutal than the show. So, uh, I saw some clips of it, of it on that convention, and, and it looked pretty good. Dead on Arrival. Yeah. Their other film uh, called Visions or, or the Swedish Sinner. This is a horror movie. Getting good grades from many. Good reviews from many places. 
So yeah, he's good. So yeah, got that one. And then I got two editions of this, the, the limited 90 only uh, printed in 99 pieces. I got a movie called Slaughter This. This is the limited but regular collector's edition with slipcase and all. I already watched it, I thought it. Ah. Uh, the thing is, it's not like a porn horror movie, but it was more porn than horror. And I actually prefer the, well, the horror part more than the fucking porn part. Uh, so I think it, the porn part really, yeah, it could have been a loads better. Interesting movie, but still not my favorite. Uh, interesting, like I said, the concept was interesting, but I think they blew it. But independent low budget stuff. So I got this regular limited edition. The 99 piece limited and signed, I got edition 31. It's signed signed by the I believe the director. Yeah, uh, let's move on. Got another movie, one of the recent release, one of the last releases. Uh, called Hannah House. I believe this is a, like a more of an artsy, like horror kind of movie, experimental stuff. Uh, a film by Ma Max and Chad Smith. Yeah, seems seems interesting. I saw the trailer way back, and I, I thought it was interesting. Now I'm going to show you the limited, extremely limited edition of uh, the Chronos. Limited to 99 pieces, and they got it got a special cover. <coughs> I don't believe in censorship, so I won't censor the cover. This is how it looks like. It's the fucking bitch in pale with a yeah, you see, and it's signed by the yeah, the actor, actress. I mean the actress. So I got Necronos. I got number 91 of 99. So it's a later number, but still. And today, when I went to the big time of, uh, town of uh, Umeå, I didn't pay for these, but I got them. My, my, uh, well, a friend of mine he was gracious enough to pay for them. So I got two games. I got Metro, Metro 2033, like a horror game, horror FPS game. It seems nice. Seems good. I always wanted to play this. I play this game. I really like it. Rich. I don't usually do game updates, but I got these when I went to the, the fucking place. I wanted to check out some movies, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, but this was some stuff that I picked up and forgot to show. But now I'll show them, so yeah. This is my horror update. Shares the horror ball and um, the yay some music minds, uh, whatever. I don't remember the fucking numbers. But cheers, bro. Cheers to Marco, I will have my uh, I will have my video reply to your contest up uh, Sunday I think at the latest uh, Yeah, it depends on, I need to do some work as well this week and tomorrow I will I need to take some time for myself as well, but I do need to get fucking cracking on some artworks that I have I have to work on, so yeah Yeah, that, this is my quick fucking horror update. Uh, yeah, just drinking some fucking great ale and... Now I'm going to watch Death Dream. And yeah, take care everybody. See you around. Bye.